Hi, Moral Recap here. Today I'm going to explain about a Brazilian drama film called Rich in Love. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie starts off with a man showing some people around a tomato production facility. He tells them his tomatoes are excellent. He is about to show them a campaign his son, Tito, has been working on. He opens a door and finds Tito making love with a woman in a fountain full of tomato juice. The film cuts to one month earlier. A helicopter lands outside a mansion. Tito wakes up in his room next to a girl whose name is Anna. Tito joins his father for breakfast and asks their housemaid, Rose, to tell her son to deal with the girl in his room. Meanwhile, in Rio de Janeiro, Paula wakes up her roommates, Raisa and Kate, because they have to go to the hospital where they practice their internship. Dr. Victor invites Paula to the surgery room. Since she wants to get a permanent position in the hospital, she accepts it. In the surgery room, Victor tells Paula that he invited her because she is important to him. Paula regrets staying. She tells an excuse and leaves to join her friends. She only wants to earn a full-time job in the hospital if she deserves it. Tito meets with Igor, Rose's son, and takes him along for some fun. Tito says they are going to pick a gift for his birthday. They take a car for a test drive and go wild on the roads. A police vehicle stops them. The policewoman pretends to be hard on Tito, but then says she will let him go if he invites her to his birthday party. Tito meets with his dad at the factory. He asks his dad to buy him the car as a birthday gift. His father has another idea. His gift will be a job at the family business. He gets an employee, Monik, to show Tito around. Tito tells Monik he can't do this right now. He has to prepare for his birthday party which he is going to celebrate at the tomato festival. The night falls and the festival is crowded. Live music and dancing. Tito meets with Igor and tells him he has invited Selma, Igor's crush. Igor is not ready to make a move on her, but Tito drags him near her. Things go sideways because Selma likes Tito and kisses him. Igor is mad, but Tito tells him it's not his fault like Selma likes him. Igor tells Tito that everyone likes him because of his social status. He has an unfair advantage. Tito doesn't want to believe it. He takes his jacket and his name tag off. He wants to be a normal average person for the night. Paula and her friends are also present to the festival. They celebrate Kate's bachelorette party. The DJ announces that a tomato fight is going to take place. He drops the beat and tomatoes flood the place. Tito throws a tomato at Paula, but she doesn't like that. They fight for a second, and Paula gets back to her friends. Three random guys hit on them, and Tito runs to Paula's defense. Tito gets hit on the nose, and the guys run away. Paula takes Tito aside and treats his nose. Risa and Kate give them a moment alone. Tito conceals his true identity. He tells Paula he stays in this place because his father is a worker here, a janitor. He asks Paula if she likes riding horses. Paula hasn't tried that. Tito says they can try it now, but Paula can't. He tries to kiss her, but Paula steps back. She has to go. Tito wants to meet with her tomorrow, but she will return to Rio de Janeiro. The next morning, Tito's father has bought the car for him. He says he should think of it as an extra perk to the job position. Tito says he wants the job, but he wants to earn it and deserve it. His family company has a training program in Rio de Janeiro. Tito talks to Igor, who also wants to go to Rio, and tells him about the program. He suggests that they exchange their identities and fight for the job position. Tito will not use his family name, and so he won't have an unfair advantage this time. If Igor wins the job, he also wins the car. The bet is on. They go to Rio. On their first night, Tito goes to Kate's wedding. He pretends to be a cleaning clerk and does his best to meet with Paula, who is also being flirted by Victor. Tito and Paula eventually get to talk. Victor tries to take Paula away from Tito, but she doesn't want to be with Victor. Paula kisses Tito and that makes Victor give up on her. Tito and Paula take a walk by the sea. 
Tito says a bunch of lies about his supposedly tough upbringing and poor family. He says his father made him work in a young age. He tries to kiss Paula again, but she says she has to go. The next day, Tito and Igor visit the Trancasso headquarters, where the training program is going to take place. They now have switched their identities. They meet an angry Monik, who has just been fired. Then they meet Cilio, the head of the marketing department, and Elena, who is in charge of the training program. The real Tito tries to make a good first impression on Elena, but he does not succeed. Elena makes him go and fetch her some coffee. Cilio tells Elena to take care of Tito, who is now played by Igor. Elena makes the fake Tito feel at home and treats him well. The real Tito witnesses this behavior, and he is worried that he might fall behind and lose the position. So he calls Monik and asks her to meet. Tito drives his expensive car to Monik's poor neighborhood. They meet and go to Monik's house. She lives with her sick sister, who also has a baby. Tito asks Monik to teach him how to start from the bottom and win the position. In exchange, Tito asks Paula for help. Paula visits Monik's sister and checks up on her. She is not yet a doctor, so she can't prescribe any pills, but she arranges an appointment to the hospital for Monik's sister. Tito also says that if Monik helps him and he wins the position, he will gift her his car. Tito and Paula walk out and they arrange to go on a date. Monik will help Tito and advises him to get an early start. He has to earn himself some connections. Tito listens to her advice, but it initially backfires to him. Monik doesn't give up and makes him continue the effort. Tito tells Cilio if he can get some work for home, and that impresses Cilio. Tito also asks Monik's help for his date with Paula. He has no idea where to take her. He has told her that he is poor. Monik plans Tito's date and teaches him how to dance. The date goes well. Paula and Tito talk about their parents. They eventually kiss, and Paula suggests they go back to Tito's house. That would be a problem since Tito stays in an expensive hotel. Tito texts Igor for help, and Igor comes up with a plan. The receptionist will switch rooms with Tito. Tito and Paula come back to the hotel. Tito says he stays here because his uncle works in the hotel. The receptionist gives Tito the key to his room. So the receptionist gets to sleep in Tio's luxurious room, while Tio takes Paula to the receptionist's tiny room. Paula says the room is not that bad, but Tio thinks it's awful, taking a moment to realize the bad conditions that workers live under. Tito and Paula carry the couch outside the room and to the roof, so they can have a better view outside. They have a fun night together, and wake up into each other's arms. Tito comments that he's experiencing an unfamiliar feeling. He wouldn't like to be anywhere else apart from here and now. On his way to the training program, Tito sees a fountain and has an idea. He pitches the idea to the instructors. It is about creating a fountain of tomato juice. Celia likes the idea, but Elena prefers Igor's idea, which is creating a tomato mascot that will represent a happy tomato. Since they like both ideas, they will put Tito and Igor work together. The same night, Paula visits Trancasso and asks if she can wait for Tito in the lobby. Elena listens to her and says she can take her to Tito. Along the way, she tells her that Tito is not serious about relationships and just wants to have fun. Tito and Igor see the two women walking in and they hide. Elena comes to them and Igor, the fake Tito, tells her he doesn't want to deal with Paula. Elena helps him get away through the escape exit. The real Tito meets Paula, who is now a bit moody. He tells her that Elena hates his guts and doesn't want him to win the position. That's why she talks trash about him. Paula believes him. Meanwhile, Elena tells Igor that he owes her one for saving him. She wants to be taken out for dinner. Igor says they can go back to his room and he will cook for her. Igor cooks some pasta. They eat and Elena flirts with him intimately. She kisses him and they get the action going, and they get the action started. At the same time, Paula and Tito are having some fun as well. Monik calls Tito in the middle of the night and says her sister is having an issue with her health condition. Tito and Paula go to their house. Paula prepares to give Monik's sister an insulin shot. Monik will help her, and Tito has to keep the baby. 
Tito gets back to the hotel and finds out that Igor slept with Elena. He says that's cheating. Elena meets with the receptionist at the breakfast table, and she thinks he is Tito's father. Eventually, the situation is resolved, and Tito's secret is still safe. Elena gives the fountain project to Igor, while Paula and the girls are arranging a graduation party. Tito's father comes to Rio, and he wants his son to be present in a dinner with the investors. He also says that he has fixed the job position. The position Monik used to have will be accompanied by Tito. Elena tells Igor that she knows about the dinner and wants to join him and his father. Tito comes up with a plan. The receptionist and some other employees pretend to be the investors and dine with Elena and Igor. Tito dines with his father and the real investors. He often excuses himself to run out of the hotel and to the sea where Paula's graduation party is taking place. Tito gets hit by a cyclist and Paula gives him a painkiller, but to swallow it, Tito sips on a drink which Risa had spiked with a sleeping pill in it. Originally, she was going to give that drink to Victor, who crashed the party as well. Things don't go as planned. Anna joins the graduation party because she is Kate's cousin. She knows Tito and tells Paula who he really is. In the process, Tito becomes too demanding and fights with Igor. His father is disappointed by his immature behavior. He meets Paula, but she is disappointed too and fed up by his lies. Tito passes out and Anna is the one to pick him up. Paula is fed up with Victor as well. She tells him she doesn't want the job in the hospital because of his disgusting power demonstrations. Tito runs to Monik and asks to stay in her house. He also finds Paula and apologizes. Paula says there is no future for them. She is going to work as a volunteer doctor and she will leave the city. A ceremony takes place at Trancaso. They are going to announce which intern earned the job. They announce the name Tito, and both Tito and Igor get up. There is no hiding this time, and they get exposed. Tito, Igor, Elena, and Monik fight over the bet and who's going to get the car, but Tito says they should sell the car and invest the money. One year later, Tito, Igor and Monik are now partners in their own business, and they're celebrating their success. Paula knocks on their door, so now the party is full. The movie ends with Tito and Paula kissing on a rooftop full of plated tomatoes. Subscribe to see more videos like this, turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching.